I always thought you were a bird. What? Even if I'm a parrot, I'm still a bird. What difference does that make? Yeah, but what about this savior guy? Is he a bird? I'm a chicken. I fall off without taking damage thanks to my wings. Whoa, so you are a bird after all. Now now, no need to discuss who you really are. I'll get you guys something to eat. Just go to the kitchen. Yes, madam. I don't, I don't remember, remember the last time, time I was called a madam. madam. You okay there? Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't get much sleep last night. Is this about the guy that sprouted criticisms about how we live in this house? He's just a human. There's nothing to be worried about. It's not that, okay. It's just a stupid headache. Probably because of a cold front heading its way. Have, uh, actually, with some raining on the way yesterday. Look, can you please just give me some remedy? I feel like there's someone playing drums loudly in my head. It's okay, I'll get you some water. Is that fine with you? Yeah, that would be good. Tyther, I was wondering if I could see your face. What are you doing here? You can't be here. Why? I'm only here to eat something, that's all. I don't think so. You are a convicted murderer and this restaurant does not accept murderers as customers. I'd like you to leave before I call security. Look, could you please just hear me out? I did not kill Emily. I know that. But there's something that you're not telling me. What is it? It's none of your business, okay? You don't understand. The police cleared me from the charges. And it makes Ma Slime the prime suspect. And let her die in prison? That's a great- Eva, do you even know what I'm going through right now? After Emily died, I am going through hell. And I blamed Marsline for what she's done to my sister, although I did hurt her many years ago. That was different. And I forgave her, at least until what she's done to Rosie. So what do you expect me to do? Tell Finn that Marceline is a cold-blooded psychopath. Hey, is everything okay in here? Escort that man out of here. Eva, could you please just let me explain? Too late. You've explained enough. I want you out. But- No? Come on, let's go. Why didn't you get my calls? I've tried texting and calling you, but you didn't answer the phone. Look, don't worry about me. I was taking some sleeping pills and I went into a deep sleep. Mean, what did you expect? A, uh, told you so, routine? I might have known you've been taking those pills at night. I even tried knocking on the door, but you still wouldn't answer the door. I mean what are you trying to do? Kill yourself? That's stupid. I feel okay, can't you see that? Not quite. I think you should be prepared for what I'm going to tell you. Oh god, don't freak me out. What's happened? Oh no, let me guess. Is this about Tony, right? I assume that Daniel didn't tell you yet. Tony has been sentenced to five years imprisonment, and he has pleaded guilty. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to let Tony suffer more in prison? Is this what they're gonna do? I'm sorry. Don't I'm sorry at me. If Tony didn't play around with those fireworks, he wouldn't be in prison. How can they do this to him? Look, we need to talk about- <laughs> Actually, you know what? I am getting sick and tired of this. I can't suffer for much longer. I have to end this once and for all. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Well, what do you think of this house so far? It looks strange. It's not as big as I imagined. It's always open, and it looks something like if the house was never put up for sale. Well, a house can be a house you know. It's gonna be a perfect house, I'll promise you. But what's the point? There's no kitchen, and we don't know where to eat. I mean... How are we supposed to cook in this house? We can build an outdoor kitchen so we can use it for cooking and eating. Actually, you know what? It's not the house I wanted. Stuff it. We want to go for the next house. Bemo, what's the matter? Why are you so down? You've been like this since we lived in a haunted house. It's not that, alright? It's something else. Look, there is something I have to tell you. I don't like where this is going, just spit it out. I just talked to Talia, she told me that Marceline has been arrested. What? Arrested? How? She didn't say, but it's no surprise because it may have something to do with Emily's murder. What do you mean? Did she do it? 
Did she kill Emily? I'm afraid so. I guess you're the last to know. Why? I mean, why? Why would she do that? I thought I trusted that woman. So did I. But Marceline is a paranoid woman. So that's why she has to- Bimo, don't be like this. Like what? Like the fact that I should be happy that Marceline is gonna be locked up in a prison where female criminals stay at. Why are you walking away from me? All I wanted to say is that I'm sorry. For what? For despising Marceline as much as Kyle does? That's not what I meant. Oh, of course. You're just gonna drink some Pepsi in celebration. And the least I can do is worry myself sick about what would happen to Marceline. Actually, you know what? Screw house hunting. We'd rather live on the streets than find ourselves a new home. Just get out of here. Ah. Uh. What is going on over there? Nothing. It's just a misunderstanding. Oh, hi Rufus. We just came to see what's up with you. Wow. You kids sure did take your time, haven't you? What? No way. What is this? Didn't I tell you? I feel a whole lot better now. I mean, look how big I am. Daddy! Daddy! Come quick. What is it? Is it an emergency? No, it's Rufus. Come check it out. What the? Hello. Father. He's finally speaking. He claims that he's much better now and it's just like if nothing bad happened to him. This is bizarre. How did he grow up so quickly? He was a puppy before when we adopted him. One day is a puppy, the other day as an adult. Got the point? How am I gonna tell Nicole? Who cares what she thinks? She's gonna be delighted. Yeah, just like when she cried for joy when I spoke my first words. Guess our day just got even better. Oh thank god. I thought you weren't at home. What are you doing here? I thought you were in your cell. Not anymore. I've been cleared of the charges. And I am now a free man. You're pleased with yourself? You don't even care that my wife is going to suffer in prison? I know how you feel about Marsline, but that's just it. Marsline got what she wanted, and she's now caught. Cut the crap Kyle. Marsline didn't deserve anything. I love her. Can't you understand that? I love her more than anyone. Like who? My own sister? You slept with her the day she got here. That's not how it happened. Then what? Did she, accidentally, seduce you when Marsline was right there walking in? Oh, you couldn't say anything. You're just gonna suffer for the rest of your life without your precious I want you out of my house. Listen to me Kyle. I don't trust you anymore. You've been berating me since right now. And I can't take it. Just go and don't ever come back here. Go. Oh my god. Guys you need to get over here right now. Brenda is at the roof. What? What the? How did she get up there? I have no idea. She must have used ladders to climb her way to the top or something. I'm calling the police. Can you guys please keep your voices down? I'm trying. Oh my god, what is Brenda doing? She's trying to kill herself. I found her like this when I was about to talk to you. Brenda. Don't, don't you dare talk to me. Leave me alone. Brenda, please, don't do this. You can't kill yourself. It's the only way. I can't deal with this pathetic life anymore. I've got to end it. Brenda, don't. The police are on their way. What happened? Thank God you're here. Brenda is about to jump and we don't know what to do. Looks like we need to get a tramp. Don't you even think about it. I don't need help, okay? Just back off and leave me the hell alone. Brenda, please listen to us. There's no point. You can't jump off a roof over someone you love. You have to get down of the building. Or what? Fine, screw this. What's he doing? I don't know. Brenda. Back off. Don't get any closer or I'll jump. I mean it. For the love of God, Brenda, don't do this. Please hear me out. You're depressed and you are spiraling out of control. You forgot that I even existed. You don't even care about me. Brenda, of course I care about you. Just please get down from here and we'll sort this out. There's nothing to sort out. My life is cursed. My boyfriend is gone. 
Everyone is talking rubbish at me, and I can't take any more of this. Please, Brenda, you know your boyfriend still loves you. Just please don't jump. Without you, we would be shattered and your boyfriend will be left with nothing. Is that really what you want? I'm sorry. I am not taking any more of this. Goodbye, cruel- <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, I hate this! <laughs> Just make it go away! <laughs> Hi, this is Bimo. Leave a message. Bimo, it's Jake. I'm sorry for ranting at you. I don't know what came over me. Just give me a call and we'll talk about this. Bye. Sorry, sir. We're closed for tonight. You know who you are. Excuse me? You heard. Remember that James guy? Huh? Remember the fact that James got what he wanted? Sir, I don't even know who you are. Please leave. Let me finish. You see, James Kemp may have taken Bubblegum's life away. But guess what? Your life could be taken away as well. What? I know you got his money. You stole him from his bag and put them in a safe in your old home. Because James is a killer. He killed Bubblegum and I fought back by- What the hell is wrong with you? Do you know how much damage you caused? James skipped the country because of the money, and it's your fault. I don't know what you're on about. Silence. Listen, you may have been scared of James, but you'll never escape from me. I will find you, and be M.O., and slaughter the both of you. Stop fooling me around, or I swear to God, I'll guarantee you will very, very regret it. That's a promise.